There were three presentations that I thought were very interesting and, um, and important. Uh, the first study was an update of the ASSEMBLE trial uh, in which patients were randomised to either asimunib or bosutinib uh, for uh, multi-resistant uh, CML. And we now have uh, two-year data which confirms a substantially better outcome for the patients who were randomised to asimunib, uh, with uh, the number of patients who achieved both major me molecular response and an MR2, which is, uh, which is below 1% BCR able, uh, being significantly higher uh, in the asimunib arm, and that's, that, that difference has remained at two years. There's also a lot more patients remaining on asimunib than remaining on bosutinib because of the intolerance issues with bosutinib. So it just confirms what we saw with the uh, one-year data, that there's an advantage to asimunib in these patients with resistance to several prior TKIs. The, um, the second important study to, uh, to mention uh, is the Canadian study looking at an attempt at uh, a second attempt at treatment-free remission for patients who have failed their first attempt on imatinib. Uh, often these patients are seven, eight, nine years on imatinib and then stopped the drug and failed, uh, had a molecular relapse. And the Canadian study uh, put those patients on dasatinib uh, and waited till they achieved an MR 4.5 and then waited a further 12 months and then stopped again. And uh, what, uh, what they found was that there was a very low rate of success using that approach, around about 10%, suggesting that that particular strategy of using a more potent drug for a relatively short period may not be the best way to go when you're looking at a second attempt at treatment-free remission. Uh, it's possible that with longer duration of MR4.5, they might have achieved a much better uh, success rate, but we don't know that until that's actually addressed in a clinical trial. So it's an important message there for clinicians that at the moment, at least, the evidence would be that if you want to try a second time, you need to wait a substantial period before re-attempting uh, treatment-free remission. And the relative role of a more potent drug versus just continuing a matinib also needs to be established.